dysfunctional vet. What we have here is we have a modification to how I fill my tank. As I told you, I get about 10 gallons in a 24 hour period out of my well. I can't remember what they call a, a well that produces such a very small amount of water. The 10 gallons per day is enough for me and the dogs to have water to drink. I have been using it to keep my plants growing and I'm burning about 15 gallons so I supplement the water that I don't get off of the well from the domestic water supply that I normally use. If we look at this, you can see that I have a riser coming up and the water from the well comes in through the bottom above the top of the tank into this drop stem and then it flows into the tank. It makes quite a bit of noise as um, there's air in this pipe right here and the water on top of it has to overcome that and push down so you get a glub 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 like the uh, water bottle dispensers that everybody's probably familiar with. Down here on the end I have my valve for on off so that I can fill my water bucket for my plants and also I keep water in here for the dogs. And while this water technically is not potable I do have a Berkey filter which I can take this water and run it through that and then it should be safe to drink. And if all else fails, I can also boil it for a minute. The chemical analysis using the home pregnancy chemical test for water, which you can buy on Amazon, showed there to be no uh, dangerous material in here, no VOCs, no heavy metals. But again, I only get 10 gallons. Now this has been running for a little bit over a day and a half, and I'm almost up to 15. And that's what I burn when I go water all my plants using this uh, two gallon bucket. So I really need some more water than that. When this tank is completely full, which is going to take five to six days to do that, when this tank is completely full, I could burn some off and still have a bit of a uh, reserve in the off event that I got rain. Now the very top of the thing, you see that angle to the side, that's my overflow. If the tank is full of water, the excess will flow up and out of that. So that's how I prevent having any kind of problems. The, um, the water flows so very, very slowly that there's no way to, or I'll put it this way, the water is flowing so slowly there's no concern whatsoever with uh, this section right here being damaged because of water flow. It's not, it's not going to happen. Uh, you can do the math. 720 cubic inches. Is that right? 729? 729 cubic inches times 10 divided by 60 times 24. That'll tell you how many cubic inches of water I'm moving in an hour. It ain't much. It's about a quart. Um, something like that. Actually, I'm not even sure it's a quart. I can do the math. It just is not very much water. But it's enough for me and the dogs in the off event that the water goes off for two weeks like it did a couple of years ago. Dysfunctional vet out.